the first thing is is the decline in civilian aircraft, uh, which is down 31 percent. Usually we kind of X that out and don't think too much of it. I think the point here is that Boeing orders were falling before hmm. the recent crashes. And so some of this may end up, you can only sort of X out aircraft uh, for so long because of the how important it is for the economy over time. You get a lot of volatility in it, and so you kind of get rid of it. You look at the Boeing's orders, and they've been pretty good. So we just want to watch that as a potential impact on the economy. Uh, overall, a lot of negatives. The minus, point, minus 0 0.1 on non-defense aircraft, the business investment one, that's, you know, been sort of up and down on that, mostly down on the equipment side. But we have Barry here who's going to talk about the better way to look at spending. <clears throat> I just want to talk real briefly about the slowdown, which, folks, it's here. It's here now. Economic slowdown. You know, yeah. we did 2-2, two, two, a, a, a downward uh, revision to the fourth quarter. And now take a look at our um, uh, rapid update, which is now running 1.5% for the first quarter, which we just completed. And that was up two after yesterday's data, which was okay. And now take a look. We, 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 yesterday we did our first survey. This is not a tracking forecast. It's just the forecast of the second quarter, 2-7. Mm -hmm. So it's here. It's not expected to be all that bad. Maybe get down, take the two and average them together, and you get in and around trend. Although I'll tell you, this is not something that was very early in the first quarter and is now wearing off. Just from speaking with Warren Buffett last week, he said that the rail car loadings that he watches on a weekly basis, that those numbers have shown some weakness, even when you strip out the flooding in the Midwest and, right. and how that slowed things down, too. So he, he didn't say it's a huge concern at the moment, but you're not seeing it pick up or you're not seeing it that, that it was some sort of a dip left over from the fourth quarter and then it's improving. Even then, the most recent numbers that they watch on a week by week basis, there is some weakness. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of got the Game of Thrones on my mind, this idea of winter is coming. And, and the sort of point is winter's kind of here, but it's not that bad a winter is, it's is the point I'm making. I know from, you know, I know. From, it's here. Uh, it's a slowdown. Um, but and, and, and everybody expected this, and the idea that, that Warren would see some slowing, well, you would think he would. The guy right. stands astride how many companies of what part of the economy he would see. He has a great order book. Burlington Northern that shows Santa Fe, him. just looking at those numbers alone, that's 15% of all the goods that move through the U.S. economy. Right. And so being able to say, we see a slowdown, he would and I asked specifically it. where it was, he right. said it's kind of all but over the place. But he's not seeing a crack. Car deliveries with all kinds of things, right. the, the grains, everything that they carry. And one more thing I just want to show you is we had a little bit of bump up in the Fed funds future probabilities and then they bump back down so we're a little bit below 50 percent you can see the slight change they're not a big deal we're still Wait, banking we flipped, on we a flipped cut, to right? rate cuts not we're no longer talking about rate hike that, 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 is that, true. that we have that that has changed in the last month or so with this by the way it was an absolutely historic change in yields I don't know if you noticed that but we uh, we did a study on this we looked at it it was the largest six-day change from the Fed meeting mm -hmm. to when we um, when, when we measured it in the two-year yield since 2009. It I, was I, started a big getting, move. I started getting letters from mortgage bankers again saying, Do you want to refinance your mortgage? Jump back in. Yeah.